It is Monday morning, and that means we're checking with our friends on TMZ about everything we need to know about what's happening in Hollywood. Dax is joining us live from L.A. right now. Dax, we have to start with the commotion that is happening about some of the racist and homophobic remarks that the Big Brother cast members have been making on the Big Brother live stream. It, it seems like you guys have sort of all of the coverage on this one. W what's going on? Give me kind of a rundown of everything that's happening. These contestants are a bunch of idiots, I'll tell you that much. So the live feed that runs pretty much 24-7, um, uh, people have been subscribing to it and they watch it. And uh, there are three contestants, Spencer, Gina Marie, and Aaron, who have all got, uh, their mouths have gotten them in big, big trouble. They have dropped homophobic slurs, they have dropped racist rants, uh, and, and I'm telling you, it is now coming back to bite them in the butt. All three of them have lost work, and so uh, uh, once they get out of the Big Brother house, they're going to realize that they have no jobs to go back to. Spencer was fired from Union Pacific. Gina Marie uh, was uh, let go from the pageant, pageant organization she was working for as a pageant administrator. And then Erin, her modeling agency, has also dropped her um, all over these comments. The thing is, you got to realize when they're inside the Big Brother house, they have no idea what's going on in the outside world. So they don't know that people are upset about the comments that they've made. They don't know that they've lost work. Um, so it's going to be a big shock to them once they get out. But uh, people are not happy with these three people. Now, for people that haven't been watching the live stream or haven't read up on it, the, these comments don't seem to be subtle anyway. They're, they're pretty obviously racist and homophobic. Have uh, the producers of the show or, or anything being done about that, have, have the editors included this in the footage that we're seeing on air? Uh, well, here's the deal with the live uh, with the live stream. CBS has made it obvious. They say, look, what, we, you know, obviously we don't condone it, but we can't stop them because it is a live stream. It is what these people are saying inside the the, the, the Big Brother house. And if we were to go and we were to, you know, edit down everything they said, it, you know, it would kind of take away from the show. And that's I think one reason that people will watch these live streams because they want to see people say stuff that uh, are off the cuff or act goofy or whatever. And um, so I don't think. I think CBS is going to stop them at this point, but you know everyone kind of knows what they're in for when they're watching the live stream. Well, it definitely will be a shock to see how they react when they come out of the Big Brother house. Now, turning on to other news, there's some baby drama, some mama drama on the Vampire Diaries. One of their stars is in a little bit of a custody battle. What, what's happening with that? Yeah, so we found out that Zach Rowig, who plays Matt on Vampire Diaries, uh, is in the battle, in the middle of a battle with uh, the mother of his child. Uh, apparently, uh, he is trying to get full custody of his daughter, and uh, it kind of makes sense because his, <laughs> the mother of the child is going to federal prison for some time, and so he goes, okay, well, if she's going to be in federal prison, I need my daughter. And uh, so he has filed some paperwork in Georgia to get that done, and he is also asking for child support from her. I don't really know how much child support she's going to be able to hand over while she's behind bars. But uh, more importantly, who knew he had, a, he had a daughter? No one knew this. I think that story is pretty cut and dry. Now, we're moving on. We haven't talked about Justin Bieber and Selena Go Gomez in tandem recently. But on the 4th of July, it seems like they were, they were together with each other. Yeah, it's interesting. So the two of them have kind of gone their separate ways. He's been seen out with another girl the last couple of weeks. And uh, then uh, over the weekend, he posts a photo on Instagram of them together and puts uh, like a little hashtag and says heartbreaker. And so it's got everyone wondering, are they back together now after all this drama and craziness? And are they finally getting back together? I mean, we don't really know. It's just one little photo that he's posted. Now, did he take this photo down or is that photo still up? Uh, as last time I checked, it was still up. All right, well, thank you for joining us, Dax. And as always, you can catch Dax and all of his TMZ buddies on CW23 weeknights at 1030, right after the 10 o'clock news.